Hi everyone, my name is Mary and I'm a third year nursing student here at Purdue. I am so excited that Nurse.org has reached out to me so that I can show you a small glimpse of what my day-to-day -day life is like here as a student. I hope I can answer a couple questions about the university or the School of Nursing here, as well as any questions about what general student life is like. If you have any further questions after you watch this video, feel free to contact me through my socials listed here below. So a little bit about myself is that I'm from Crawfordsville, Indiana, which is a small town a little ways south of Purdue's West Lafayette campus. And I chose Purdue because I wanted to stay close to home, but also keep a little bit of a small town vibe. And I know it sounds ironic that I wanted a small town vibe from a campus with 50,000 students, but it wasn't as unattainable as it sounds. So I stayed busy beyond my course load and I got a part-time job at the campus Chick-fil-A and I joined the Purdue chapter of the Student Nursing Association and a lot of other activities that allowed me to make these close-knit communities. And while it is easy to feel lonely in that 300 person classroom, the small groups and like the friends I've made here really make up for it. That being said, let's take a small look into what a day looks like here at Purdue. So I wanted to show you guys the typical life of a second year nursing student because that's when you get to start clinicals and wear these cute scrubs. So here I am getting ready, which would typically be at 5.30 in the morning for the Lafayette clinicals. Um, we do have Indianapolis clinicals in the third year and fourth year, but we're not going to worry about that. So this would be at 5 a.m. Here I am looking cute, the full fit with my hair up, and this is the nursing annex. So the nursing annex was actually specifically renovated for my class because the class of 2025 was the largest admission to the School of Nursing at the time. So that being said, there's so many new resources available to nursing students now, like so many more mannequins, beds that plug into the wall with actual suction and oxygen simulations, and things like kangaroo pumps that we will actually see in healthcare. So there's a lot of resources and simulations that will make your student life so much easier here. So unfortunately, the nursing annex is still under construction this summer, so I can't show you what the classrooms or the mannequins are like, but what I can tell you is that there are so many new resources coming to Purdue for nurses. So moving on to campus now, here we have the Helen R. Johnson Hall of Nursing, home of the Center for Nursing Education and Simulation, also known as the CNES. So this is where the smaller clinical groups will go to do their simulations or classes over what their clinical is. Here we have some tapestries from our holistic nursing class. And unfortunately, the CNES is under construction at the moment, so I can only show you this mannequin. The Helen R. Johnson Hall of Nursing is so much more than just the CNES though. So there are classrooms downstairs that you'll maybe have to take a class in sometime. And then the nursing staff is upstairs. So if you have office hours, that's where you'll go. And even on the first level, there are computers and study lounges for students to sit in and print out their notes if they need to. So there's a lot of resources available across all nursing buildings in Purdue. So now I kind of want to talk about the other buildings around campus and here we have the bell tower right across from Wilmoth Academic Learning Center or WALK for short. And WALK is a super important building in Purdue. It houses a lot of courses across all majors. I even had a couple of introductory nursing courses here but it is a huge study spot because there's so many seats, there is a library and a computer lab upstairs, and many classrooms all around the buildings. So I was actually super lucky because I got to catch our mascot after walking out a well. This is the Boilermaker Special and it makes its way around campus almost every day. It takes people on tours or hypes up people before games and that kind of thing. And also running around campus was this little guy and these starships are really popular. They bring food to students across campus. Now I'm gonna take the chance to show you a couple of my favorite study spots around campus. 
This is Cheney Hale Hall of Life Science. It's a general HHS lab building, and I actually had my anatomy and physiology lab here. This is Frida and Winifred Parker Hall. This is the Chick-fil-A I work at, and there's a Jersey Mike's and plenty of other seats around. Um, here's the residential half, and it has a nice view of the co rec as well as plenty of tables for group studying. Finally, if it's a really nice day out, I like to just take my books and sit in front of the engineering fountain. So that's all the buildings I'm going to show you from Purdue because I don't want to take too much time up here. Um, but if you are able to, I highly, highly, highly recommend taking a campus tour because you get to see so many more buildings and you get such better, more in-depth descriptions of what they're for. And there are a couple of buildings of, for lecture in nursing that I couldn't show you today, um, which is why I really encourage those campus tours. What I do want to talk about now, though, is the opportunities that Purdue Nursing has given me. So Purdue has a lot of networking events across the board, and especially for the School of Nursing, there are a lot of job fairs for you to attend. And I highly recommend going because that is where I got my current internship for Franciscan Health. So right now, I'm a patient care novice at the Franciscan Health here in Lafayette and I provide basic needs and um, activities of daily living for the patients that come into the med surge hospital right there. And I am in love with my job. It is my first job in healthcare and I would not have gotten it without Purdue. So I wanted to show you guys a little glimpse of what that was like as well. So I can't show much of the inside of the hospital for liability reasons, but I still would love to tell you guys about the wonderful experiences I have in my job. So as a patient care novice, the hospital knows that I'm a nursing student, so they accommodate to my schedule and they only make me work about 36 hours for every six week period. So that's like one shift every other week. So since my unit knows that I'm a nursing student, some of the nurses on the floor will actually pull me into a patient's room if they know they're about to do a procedure that would be interesting to me. So for instance, I've been able to watch Foley catheter insertions, NG tube insertions, and other things like IM injections. And I'm just so thankful and grateful that these nurses are allowing me to grow into my profession. And this job has definitely expanded my perspective on healthcare. So those are the types of things that I'm super grateful for with having a healthcare related job in addition to my schooling. I've seen so many more things that sometimes can't just be guaranteed in a clinical and they are super flexible with me and my schooling. So yeah. To wrap things up, I love all the opportunities and resources that Purdue has been able to give me and there's just about a million things on campus that you can do to make Purdue fit for you. Um, once again, my name is Mary. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me. If you have any other questions about anything, just reach out to me in the socials listed below. Thank you. Have a great night.